Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to talk about Target Weld. Target Weld is a command found in the Mesh Tools menu. And down here at the bottom, Target Weld. I'm going to the options here and click Reset Tool just to make sure I have my default settings. You, know, you can notice there's not a lot of options. So it's a relatively easy tool to use. So first I need something to use this tool on. So I'm just going to create something from the Polygon Primitives menu. You'll notice in the latest version of Maya 2018, we have a lot of uh, green highlighted options here. These are some new objects that have been added to Maya, aside from the typical cubes and the cylinders and so on. Uh, for the sake of this demo, though, let's just go with a torus. Okay, so I've created a torus here. I'm going to scale it up some, and just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to lower the geometry a little bit so it's not quite so dense just so we can see a little bit easier what's happening. Alright, and I'm going to soften the edges just so it's not so uh, faceted. So I'm going to select it and go to Mesh Display, Soften Edge. So now it's more like this. Okay, so if I select the torus, I'm going to uh, hide the grid for now. You can see the polygons. So let's use Target Weld. So I'm going to right click on the torus and choose either Vertex or edge. Just go with vertex for now. So I can select a vertex or vertice. With it selected I can go to the mesh tools menu and say target weld. Now I have target weld tool active now and you can see that my selected vertex is highlighted right there and it's yellow. When I mouse over it it turns green. But I can left click on it now and drag. And as I drag over other vertices you can see what happens. Now right now I'm still holding down the left mouse button, I haven't released it yet, but for example going to here, the original vertex has that green circle around it and my target vertex has an orange circle around it and this orange line stretching between the original vertex and the target. Now if I want to cancel this for some reason I can go back to put my, put my mouse cursor over the original vertex and release and then it'll cancel the action. But I can left click like I said and drag to a point and release and you can see what happens is it welds the selected vertex to the targeted vertex and this has been merged and combined together it's not there's not like two vert vertices on top of each other right here you can see as I move this one vertex around how the object uh, reacts this is a very handy tool in just your traditional uh, modeling uh, workflow you know you're wanting to uh, make your mesh as efficient as possible. You may decide, you know what, I'm going to target weld some stuff around to uh, get my sh my edge flow the way I need it to be. So again, you can go to Mesh Tools, Target Weld, left click and drag, and you can merge vertices like this. Okay, so let me undo that and let's uh, go to the Tool Options. So again, under Mesh Tools, Target Weld, options and I'm cl click again reset. So the only setting we have here really is this section here that tells us about some keyboard and mouse shortcuts but then we also have these settings so merge to target which is the default or merge to center. Let's turn on merge to center and see the difference. So I have merge to center active. If I left click on that vertex again and drag it to so let's save this one over here You'll notice in the middle of my orange line, and again, I'm still holding down the left mouse button, have not released it yet, there's that green dot in the middle of my orange line. So what's going to happen now is it's going to pull both vertices together to merge them together at that green dot location. It's merging them to the center between the two like this. Hit Z to undo. And again, we can do the same here. So it doesn't merge straight to the position of the vertex but it's rather to the center point of the selection. Now I'm going to select multiple vertices and then go back to my tool, Mesh Tools, Target Weld. You notice my vertices are still highlighted. I can left click on one of them and drag and you'll notice what's happening here. All those highlighted vertices are all being dragged to that center point now. And if I let go you can see what happened there. Let me undo that. Let me go back into the tools here and go back to target. I still have all those vertices selected. Left click and drag. And you can see how they're all going to merge to the selected point. Like that. 
Now this works on edges as well. If I right click and choose edge, and select an edge, go to mesh tools, target weld, click and drag that edge to this edge. You can see it merges both vertices on either side of that edge to the vertices on either side of that edge, like so. And again, we go back to the options and turn on merge to center. We can see the difference. Again, we get that green dot in the middle, and they both move and merge in that middle position, that center position. This is a very, very handy command for mesh cleanup and optimization. This is a command that's actually been in 3D Studio Max, a different uh, 3D modeling application for a long time, and Maya users have always kind of looked at it in Envy, but recently it has been added to the Maya tool belt, I guess you could say. So again, mesh tools, target, weld. Very handy command. I hope you enjoy using it and add it to your workflow going forward. Well, if you have any questions or if I miss something about the target weld tool, let me know and I can make an addendum if I need to or I can just add it to the comments to this video. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, comment, like the video, always appreciated, and I'll talk to you later.